Welcome everyone to this final day in 2022. It is Saturday, the eighth day of our gathering, Saturday, December 31st. And we are coming together again to create a space to contemplate the beautiful Madonna series. And today I'm your host, Verlin McGilvray, and today our um, presenters are Linda Berg and Barbara Richardson. So excited to welcome them into the fold. <laughs> so if you would like to light a candle with me in this final day of the year, creating a warmth and a space of light, reminding us of the truth of our hearts. And um, you can also light a candle in your own heart as well. And so I would just like now to bring up the slide for Linda and turn it over to her. Good morning on this last day of the year when the stars open so fully to us as we open to this guiding Madonna, the Sistine Madonna, guiding Sophia. I am honored and blessed to be here. The word that has been coming to me as I've been preparing has been beholding. This Madonna is gazing at us, beholding us and perhaps in her soft gaze is asking us to return that gaze and behold her. We see her full upright stance. She is in movement coming through the clouds, placing her foot upon the earth holding the Christ child gently in her arms as he sits upright, also looking out at his destiny. As we come again to her face, her gaze on us and our world and all of its suffering, we see she holds a peace that passes understanding while holding the wisdom and knowing of all that is to come. It is as though they are together as one, looking to us to be part of their journey. Behold, we are with you, be with us. I wanted to say a word about my personal connection to this Madonna. She has been holding me since the early days of my Waldorf kindergarten teaching 30 years ago, where she held this special place in the room, beholding all these growing children. And maybe each one of us can think, what is our connection over these years to this Madonna? When have we been held by her healing presence? Recently, I was in a hospital with a friend who had had a stroke. And I was taking a moment in the chapel and I turn and there is a beloved Sistine Madonna gazing at me, bringing healing balm to my friend and to me. But what I really wanted to share was that in 2015, I had the privilege of meeting her in Dresden, Germany, where she resides in her full beauty and color, larger than life eight feet by six feet, the memory of gazing up at her, seeing for the first time all of the detail and the waiting souls in the clouds. I had no words. And when we walked outside after so full of her grace, from the square came the strains of Ave Maria filling every molecule of air in my heart. I want to say a word about this painting. During World War II, uh, Dresden was firebombed and most of the city was destroyed. Some loving souls took down this huge painting and carried it 
to a tunnel under the city for safekeeping. And then the Red Army came and found it and she was taken to Russia for 10 years. And after Stalin's death, the Russians returned it to Germany and to her home, which it still is, so that we can behold it. I wanted to take a moment to thank those human beings who risked their lives to save her from destruction and makes her available to our eyes. So today we're going to go directly into our five minute meditation after I complete sharing. So we come back to her gaze. Allow her to behold us. And in that space of being held in her grace, let us all for a moment hold all of us who are on this call. Let us, our hearts, be connected in that grace. Then let us move to, for a moment, hold all those in our life who we hold precious with this love and gaze. And then stretch out to all the sentient beings of the earth, of this good earth on which she is standing. And then allow also those from behind the veil to hold us in love and us to hold them in this love and all the spirits of light. Now take a breath and as we return our gaze to her and open our hearts, we hear her singing these words to us. I behold you beautiful. I behold you, child of the earth and sun. Let my love wash over you. Let my love watch over you. And Verlin will call us back after five minutes. And I will sing the song one more time from this beautiful Sophia. I behold you, beautiful one. I behold you, child of the earth and sun. Let my love wash over you. Let my love watch over you.
Hold on, I'm seeing the slide is up and I just need to get Barbara front and center. There we go. Barbara, can you hear me? There we go. Now it's you. It's up to you. Thank you. Okay, Barbara, it looks perfect. It's your time now. Thank you. Good day. I trained in the London School of Eurythmy with Marguerite Lundgren, and she had the karmic joy <laughs> to work with Cecil Harwood and Owen Barfield on the English language, along with bringing Eurythmy into English. And we started Eurythmy, I think, speech like this. I think speech. I speak. I have spoken. I seek myself in the spirit. I feel myself within myself. I am on the way to the spirit, to myself. And with this picture of the Sistine Madonna, I looked at it with the knowledge of Wolfgang Schad, man and animal, human being and animal, how the hoofs have a contraction, the hoof animals, how the rodents have a sort of expanded, <laughs> sharked feeling with their claws sticking out. And in the middle, the cat, who has fur between his fingers. And that's where, if we look at our hands in weight, in light, and then find the balance. And that's something you can be aware of anytime you do your rhythmy. I'll do the, I think, speech one more time, speaking it and then you can do it silently. I think speech. I speak. I have spoken. I seek myself in the spirit. I feel myself within myself. I am on the way to the spirit to myself. Thank you, Barbara. What a beautiful nuance and such grace. Thank you. All that you bring, that's amazing. Oh, so I feel full and complete. And I wanna thank everyone for being here today and holding this space with us and bringing all of this into our heart. So we can blow out our candles now and say our goodbyes, not just to this day, but to this year. Many blessings. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you.